Hey, 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 good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, we are still uh, trying to get this information out, family. And I really, really want to share this with y'all. Actually, it's for, it's from um, my sister, my ginger sister from another mother. <laughs> that's what I like to call her. Um, and that's Dr. Uh, Tara Palmatier from uh, Shrink for Men. And, you know, her site and her services deal with breaking free from abuse, abusive people. So, um, I just wanted to share. So, I find a lot of interesting uh, things on the site. Um, I, uh, anyway, let's just get, let me just get to this article. Uh, and it's called Red Flag. Narcissists play the victim when their lies are exposed. Okay. Inviterate habitual liars. Whether their personality disordered or not. Follow predictable response patterns when they're caught red-handed in their lies. They tell more lies, play the victim, or both. Now, there are different ways to play the victim. You know, because just the video we just did earlier, you know, I was talking about lying. And like I said, I've told lies. I'm sure if you would be honest, some of you have told lies before, but... Um, usually when I, if, if I've gotten caught or somebody busted me red-handed, I mean, the normal response is, um, I'm usually ashamed, you know, and I'm usually like, okay, yeah, I did lie about that, um, and I have an ex, you know, an explanation or, you know, whether the person accepts it or not, the fact that I have, I'm, I'm ashamed, I feel some kind of way that I've been caught in my lie um so but the difference is you catch some people in their lies and they just keep going and they keep it up making up more lies more lies more lies lies. see that's a red flag for your ass and if you can't see past that you messed up because that's where you should start that right there right now is like now what's wrong with me if this person is habitually lying to me and I'm habitually accepting it and I'm not acting like it's not happening. It's not happening. I'm going to finish this. Because see, a habitual or pathological liar or somebody that is some type of disorder to me, they just make it a victim. <laughs> you know, if they're a habitual liar, now they might not even have the other things just like the article says, but if they're a habitual liar. Sometimes they cry, they act pitiful, and or conjure up psychosomatic symptoms. I mean, I'm sick. Therefore, you can't be upset with me or hold me responsible. Um, is it because they're sorry for having deceiving you and hurt or hurt you and hurt you? Or is it because their lies and betrayals have been exposed? If the liar is behaving like the injured party, Rather than making amends to the person they deceive, then they're not sorry that they lied. And I think this is real important because, especially right here, y'all, because we, you know, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. And especially in our community, we are experiencing an overabundance full of liars and narcissists that are having a covers pulled off of them. And I want you to see it for what it is. The head narcissist, in my opinion, has taken his rightful place on the throne, which is Donald Trump. And now you can see the other crazies right around him with the light spotlight. It's like spotlight crazy as far as I'm concerned. And you can just see it. You know, um, I'm not claiming to be perfect. And I'm sure none of you all out there that's listening, or at least I know those of y'all who uh, we share in the mental house, you know, y'all get it. But there are a lot of people out there who don't. And that's why it's really important that we get our minds right. Because you have to be able to have a spirit of discernment. um, Because these people are dangerous. 
and it's been a lot of exposure going on in terms of the people that we perceive as leaders in our community who have deceived us, who have lied to us. And I think it's real important to see how they are handling their exposure. Are they handling it with the truth and taking full responsibility and holding my accountability for, damn, I got busted. Shit. Or are they taking you from one lie to the next? And y'all have to make the decision of what kind of crazy you want to deal with. So, again, Dr. T says, if the liar is behaving like the injured party rather than making amends to the person they see, then they're not sorry that they lied. They're sorry that they got caught. And if you find yourself feeling sorry for the liar, it's probably because you're emotionally, your emotions are being manipulated. Your emotions are being manipulated. If you find yourself feeling sorry for somebody who has lied to you, then that means your emotions are being manipulated. It is not wrong to be angry or hurt about being deliberately deceived. Don't fall for, for the old switcheroo trick. I mean, it's, it's, duh. Don't fall for the old switcheroo. You need to check out, you know, got to get conscious. Y'all ain't woke. A lot of y'all ain't what not us. A lot of y'all on this sound of my voice are not woke. Okay? And I want you to like, share, so pass this video on to whoever you may um want y'all social sites. Because we gotta look at this. We got to look at what is happening in our communities. Okay? Sometimes liars feign anger. They 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 fake like they anger. Outrage, indignation when exposed. How dare you catch me in my lies? That's not like Umar Johnson. You're the liar. This form of gaslighting can have a half, have a have a, a crazy making effect on the victim of the lies. I'm gonna repeat that. Sometimes people get angry. They they fake anger. Uh, um, they outrage and indignation when they're exposed. How dare you catch me in my lies? Okay? Who you gonna believe? Me or your lying ass eyes? Remember Eddie Murphy said that? You're the liar. This form of gaslighting can have a crazy making effect on the victim of the lies. No one makes anyone lie. People lie to manipulate others into doing things that they wouldn't otherwise do. Or to avoid the natural consequences of their behaviors. I think we discussed um, a little earlier, or I did, and y'all left y'all comments, which I really appreciate. And I really want y'all to leave y'all comments here because, you know, she y'all say have a lot of viable things that, you know, when I look at, I do read the comments, you know, and I appreciate it because um, a lot of us don't want to go in on what's real. Because this world, this matrix has allowed us to deal with shit that's so fake. Anyway, um, people lie to manipulate others into doing things that they wouldn't otherwise do. Or to avoid natural consequences of their behavior. Exposing their, um, perf um, you know, just exposing them isn't an act of perfidy. When they try to make you the villain for exposing their lies... It's they're engaging in Darvo. Remember we talked about that? Deny, attack, and reverse victim order. <laughs> Somebody said deny, attack, and reverse victim and offender. Remember that. Or I say deny and reverse victim order. Being a pathological liar doesn't necessarily mean you're personally personality disorder, a narcissistic, borderline, histrionic, or psychopath. But if your personality disorder, odds are that you're definitely a pathological liar. A lie is still a lie, even if a liar convinces themselves it's the truth. Liars lie. They don't change 
and they rarely feel remorse for lying. Instead, they feel angry or scared when they're caught, just like children do. If you're in a relationship with a woman or man who's repeatedly lied to you, odds are you're choosing to avoid the truth about them and y'all's relationship. And then you got to ask yourself, what does that get you? What the hell does that get you? All right. I want to thank Dr. T for that um, great article. Um, and y'all think about that. Because um, this stuff is getting real serious. And I'm glad uh, the exposure is happening all over the place. I'm so happy. I'm so glad this stuff is happening all over the place because um, how did the uh, fifth dimension say it? When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars, then peace will guide the planets. And love will fill the stars. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Y'all remember that? Purge. Pull a cover off of them. And let to see what becomes exposed. I'm all for it. Anyway, like what you hear. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in a minute right here in the mental house. Thanks.